Welcome back everybody for day two of our five day series here, our exclusive five day workout on YouTube. This is Rachel. She's gonna be taking you through the workout. My name is Danny Saltos and I'm gonna be coaching you through this workout. Today we have a 20 minute upper body killer. All right, this one's gonna get your shoulders working, your chest, your triceps, your biceps, everything. So you're in good hands here. We're gonna also incorporate some cardio movements to get your heart rate up because we only got 20 minutes. So I wanna make sure that you at least break a sweat. You're gonna feel good, I promise. All right, Rachel has a set of light, medium and heavy dumbbells. If you do not have that much variety, just grab a pair of medium and heavy ones or whatever works for you. You can keep the same weights throughout this entire workout. Most importantly, check your ego at the door, folks. This is, you have nothing to prove to me. You have nothing to prove to Rachel. It's all about you. I want you to feel good at the end of this workout. So let's go ahead and get started, everyone. We have a small warm up. We're gonna do two moves in this warm up. We're gonna start on, in a tabletop position on the mat and we're gonna do what's called a cat cow. So, Rachel's gonna take a deep inhale through the nose and then round her spine, tuck her chin, beautiful. Her fingers are spread nice and wide. Then she exhales, looks up towards the sky and creates a nice arch in her back. There we go. And then just keep going through that at your own pace. We're spending a little extra time here in the warm up. We got about 40 seconds of these two moves. Now you should be doing some sort of warm up prior to these workouts, at least five minutes. These warmups are really just, you know, just to make sure you're doing the bare minimum. But I always like to encourage a little bit more right before you get started with these workouts. Nice work, Rachel. Remember, these workouts are meant to challenge you. They're meant to make you feel better. And so we need to be properly warmed up in order to effectively work out and make sure we're not gonna injure ourselves. Three, two, one, good. Now Rachel's gonna lay down on the ground and we're gonna go into what's called a swimmer. This is a great warm up for the shoulders. So Rachel's gonna go hands out to, to the uh, in front, perfect. She's gonna lift her chest and her head up a little bit and then she's gonna bring those arms all the way around, all the way over her butt and then back in front. That's beautiful, you'll see her shoulders are working nice and easy here as if you're pushing through water. Let's go, 40 seconds. If for whatever reason you need to take a little bit extra time, you can always drop your head and your chest. Take a moment. If you feel any tightness in the shoulders, sometimes your upper back gets a little fatigued. Make sure to activate the glutes. I want you to squeeze in those glutes, activate them. They're gonna support your lower back because remember the lower back is working here. Nice job. So this is loosening up the shoulders. We got some upper body work today. We got some shoulder work. So I wanna make sure all those joints are lubricated and ready to work. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work, team. All right, go ahead and come up. I want you to shake it out for me. Move those shoulders around, shake it out. Get all that negative, bad energy out of you. We're gonna do a little cardio warm up here. We got two rounds, all right? We're gonna do 30 seconds of each move. We got 30 seconds of jumping jacks to start us off. So there's two ways to do this, full version. Rachel's gonna demonstrate, that is the full version. If you need to modify, there is also the modified version, which is just nice and easy, stepping out one leg at a time, right? Still moving the same joints, the same, same, same movement, you're just slowing it down a little bit, all right? Again, check your ego at the door. You have nothing to prove to me. I want you to do what feels right for you. All right, we got two rounds coming up. Three, two, one, let's go, jumping jacks. So we have two moves in this, so it's a total of two minutes worth of work here. I want you somewhere in that moderate intensity zone, somewhere around a five to seven on the RPE scale. We're not pushing anywhere near maximal effort. I want you to conserve some of that energy. You may notice your heart rate getting elevated at this time, that's perfectly normal, that happens, that is meant to happen. Three, two, one. Now, second move in our warm up here in our cardio starter, we're going to do walkout. So Rachel's going to stand at the edge of the mat, hand over hand, all the way out. You're moving a little bit. You're moving with some intense, with some intention, and then you're going to walk it all the way back up. Beautiful. That's it right there. Ready? Let's go team. 30 seconds. Again, this is a great upper body warm up movement. I love this. And I incorporated this into the cardio section today because it actually, you know, going from that low position to that high position, a lot of times my clients will tell me, I feel my heart rate getting elevated. And I go, yeah, that's, that's meant to happen, right? 20, uh, sorry, 10 seconds. 
Nice, Rachel. Good job. Three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody. Good work. All right, let's get back into those jumping jacks. I know you're excited about it. Okay, I know Rachel's excited. We're getting started with round two jumping jacks. Either full version or modified. Let's go. Three, two, one. Hit it. 30 seconds, everyone. We got 30 seconds on the clock. I know you're here ready to work. Remember, this sets the tone for the rest of the workout. We only got 20 minutes together, so let's make the most of it, please. 10 seconds, sorry. I keep trying to give you less time. I don't wanna give you less time. I wanna give you, I wanna give you the right amount of time. 10 seconds now, nice work, Rachel, good job. And then we're going back into those walkouts, quick transitions. I'm stingy with my recoveries. Three, two, one, let's go. Walk it all the way out into that high plank position, nice work. Remember, you're doing this with a little bit of purpose. This isn't like we typically do in our warmups. This is with intention, like you're really trying to crank out as many reps as you can. We're looking to elevate that heart rate. 15 seconds, team, and then we go into our first strength block. Let's go, you're doing great. We got five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, everyone. All right, great work. We are moving into our first strength block. Beautiful thing about this first strength block, this first movement, we don't need any weights because we're gonna use our body weight. One of my favorite moves, we're gonna do a push-up. Now, Rachel's gonna demonstrate the two versions. I encourage you to pick the one that feels the best and also allows you to execute the best form. 30 seconds here of push-ups. Now, you're gonna either do off your knees or you're gonna bring those knees down. Go into a drop knee position and do that push-up. Pace yourself, inhale on the way down, exhale as you push yourself up, all right, folks? We got 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Now, with this one, oftentimes I, people will tell me, well, I can't do a push-up, so they avoid it completely. But the truth is, work with whatever range of motion you can. The only way you get better is if you practice. A lot of times people will, will avoid something because they're not perfect at it. That, no one is perfect at anything when they first start. So you really have to allow yourself that opportunity to practice. And the only way to practice is to get through it and do it no one is perfect at the beginning trust me three two one nice work shake out those shoulders i want you to stand up grab your light pair of dumbbells for this first set so rachel's going to grab her three pounders and we're going to do some standing laterals so rachel's going to go out to the side with those arms nice and easy beautiful good job you'll notice she's not swinging 30 seconds i want the same thing from you no swinging whatsoever there you go there you go Rachel, Rachel might have swallowed something. It's, it's. We, we've confirmed that it's not, that it's not a sickness. We've confirmed that it's not a sickness. We just think it's a dry air. We got about ten more seconds. You're doing those laterals. Nice work. Good job. You're gonna feel this in the shoulders, but that's the idea. Three, two, and one. Good job, Rachel. Put those down. Now we are going into one of my favorites, burpees. So with burpees, we have two versions of this. You can do the full version. So Rachel, give me that full version. There we go. Let's start up. Give yourself some room. So Rachel's gonna go jump, hands to the ground, all the way down, come up, and give me that jump again, and repeat. Go ahead and pause. Now, if you need to modify, the way to modify this movement is by doing the regress version, which is a walkout. So hands go, hands go down, repeat, go out, lower yourself, and then walk your feet up one at a time, hands go to the sky, but you do not jump. So you're removing all the jumping portion out of the out of the burpee and you're walking it out or walking it up one foot at a time. We got two, uh, sorry, we got 20 seconds here. Let's go ahead and hit it in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, I don't care which one you choose. All I care is that you're consistent and that you're moving your body. Nice work, Rachel, that's excellent, good job. And if you're nursing an injury and you're, you know, maybe it's your knee or your back and you still want to keep moving, there's always a way to work around it and keep moving without aggress without worsening the injury. Three, two, and one. Nice work, team. All right, let's get back into it. We're doing those push-ups again. So off your knees or on your knees. Remember, it doesn't matter. Just pick one, commit to it, and let's go. 30 seconds. Nice work, Rachel. Good job. So you're inhaling as you lower your body. Exhale as you push the world away. There we go. Come on, team. You're doing fantastic. There you go. 
listen to your body. I love the way that Rachel just really just is, is aware of her form. And when she feels it falling off a little bit, she takes a moment, resets, and then gets back to it. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good job, Rachel, nice work. Pick that up, we're gonna get those weights, we're gonna go into those laterals. Three, two, one, hit it. That's excellent right there, nice work. Really working those shoulders, who doesn't want nice to find shoulders? Wherever you are, whatever time of the year you're watching this, it's either summer's coming up, summer's around the corner, summer just finished, but it doesn't matter. It always pays to have nice defined shoulders. We got 10 seconds. Rachel, you're doing great. Core nice and engaged. Hips tucked. Glutes squeeze at, glutes, just squeeze your glutes. Three, two, and one. All right, we're back into those burpees, either the full version or the modified version. Let's go. Nice work, good job. Nice and strong here, really looking to elevate your heart rate. Remember, this is the last exercise in this first block, and then we're done with it. We move on to the next one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Team, way to go. We got through round one of that strength block. Now we're moving into our second strength block. We're gonna start with some posterior chain stuff here. We're gonna work the back. So Rachel's gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. We're gonna do some bent over rows. You need a pair of dumbbells here. So Rachel's gonna hinge at the hips through this profile so they can see it from the side. So your torso is about 45 degrees forward. You're not, a com you're not completely parallel to the ground. That's excellent right there, that's excellent. So hips back, make sure your belly button's pulled in and you're gonna pull those elbows past your rib cage. That's it right there. Lower and then repeat again. That's it, exactly. So you're pulling those elbows past your rib cage. Let's go team for 30 seconds. If you're feeling this in your back, oftentimes that's most likely because you're hinged too far forward. So remember, your chest doesn't need to be completely dropped. I want to make sure that you're focusing on your upper back here in between your shoulder blades. 10 seconds, everyone. Doing fantastic. I know you're working hard, I can feel it. Three, two, and one. Nice, keep those dumbbells. Face forward, Rachel. We're gonna go chest open, roll those shoulders back for me. Chest is open and we're gonna do some bicep curls. So nice and controlled, no swinging in those weights, please. I do not want you swinging. I want it controlled for 30 seconds, squeezing at the top. We're working the biceps, which is the muscle in the front of the, of the arm here. So a lot of times you'll see people at the gym just, or you know, people working out just swinging those weights. I don't want any of that. Momentum takes away from the movement and we're trying to work the biceps here, so we need to slow it down, connect mind to your body. Five more seconds, you're doing great. Nice work, Rachel. Three, two, and one. Good job, put those down. Just like the first round, we're gonna do it again. We're doing those burpees. I know everyone's so excited. You're like, Danny, what the, what the hell is going on? We're gonna go back into those burpees. We already demonstrated the first round, so get into it. 20 seconds, let's go. So either modified or the full version. It does not matter. All I care about is consistency, making sure you're moving your body, doing what is right for you as an individual. And I can't stress that enough because you have nothing to prove to anybody else. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work team. All right, round two. We're getting back into it. Let's get into those rows. So if you wanna level up and you wanna grab your heavier weights, you can. If you wanna keep it light, by all means, do what's right for you. Hinge at the hips, remember about 45 degrees, let's go. So, again, keeping this out of the lower back, you wanna make sure that your navel is pulled in towards your spine, right? You're kind of pulling it in as if someone's trying to poke your belly button. You're like, no, no, get, like, get away from me, right? So you really wanna pull that in, keep it engaged, because that movement right there protects your lower back and allows you to focus on strengthening your upper back, which Rachel is doing a really good job of. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Team, nice work, bicep curls, chest open. Roll those shoulders back for me. Exaggerate it so that you really open up the chest. Let's go. The reason I always like to cue that before we start bicep curls, because if you're doing this and you're hunched forward, it becomes more of a shoulder movement. And funny enough, there is some shoulder recruitment when you're doing some bicep curls. 
So we want to eliminate that as much as possible. And the way we do that is by putting those shoulders back in the socket, opening up the chest and drawing those shoulders away from the ears. Seven seconds, nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. You see the smile on my face because we're going to burpees, right? We're doing it again. So guys, put those weights down. Let's go team in three, two, one, hit it. 20 seconds. The good news is after this, I promise, I promise we're done with burpees. So that is the good news. The not so good news is that we still have some work to do, but that's okay. That's what you came for, right? You came to do some work. Yes, team. Nice work. Three, two, and one. Yes. All right. We've arrived. Told you this workout was short and sweet. We got an AMRAP, as many reps as possible. That's right, we're doing a two minute AMRAP, as many reps as possible. So Rachel's gonna demonstrate our next move. It's called a Renegade Row. There's actually two ways to do this. Rachel's gonna demonstrate both versions. You're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. I recommend starting off with a light or medium because we're, only, we're gonna stick with that weight the entire time. Now Rachel's gonna row one arm at a time. She's nice and stable. Her hips are nice and controlled. That's excellent, Rachel, good job. Now, if you need to modify, you bring those knees to the ground and you do the same movement, but on your knees. The one thing I want to make clear before we start this AMRAP finisher is that if you are doing it on your knees, you must stay on your knees for the remainder of that movement because I need you to be consistent. If you're going to stay off your knees, then you stay off your knees for the remainder of that movement. This is as many reps as possible within a given time. We have two minutes on the clock. That means your goal is to keep count of how many reps you're doing so that next time you revisit this workout, you can see how much you've progressed. All right, so again, off your knees or on your knees, it doesn't matter. I want you to commit to the process. We got two minutes on the clock, team. I hope you're ready. Rachel, you ready to rock and roll? All right, let's go in three, two, one, guys. We have two minutes on the clock. No push-up, she's, jump she's, she's jumping the gun. She's, she wants to do more. No push-up, you're just rowing. Nice, that's excellent right there. So the key with this is making sure you're pulling that elbow past your rib cage, really engaging those lats. This is also a core movement, right? A lot of times people will think, God, my, my, I feel this in my abs. And yeah, you should feel this in your abs because they have to activate. And also every time you remove one hand from the ground, your core has to engage to stabilize those hips. So make sure to activate those hips by squeezing the glutes. Team, you're already 40 seconds in. Look how much time flies when you're having fun. There you go, Rachel, nice job. Squeeze, keep those hips nice and steady. I don't want you pulling and opening up those hips. I should not see a lot of movement in those hips. And take a break when you need it. Remember, this is an AMRAP. All I care about is that you do as many reps as you can within the given time. All right, less than a minute to go. Nice work nice and strong her head is neutral her neck is neutral so she's picked one spot on that mat so that her spine is completely in alignment 40 seconds team make sure to keep count of how many reps you're doing because when you revisit this workout and you do it again in a few weeks i want to know that you were able to do more and perform better and that you're stronger all right, we got about 20 seconds left. Keep it going. Seven. Sorry, ignore me. I don't know why I jumped 17. <laughs> don't worry. I know what I'm doing. We got 10 on the clock. You're doing great, team. Yes, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. All right, keep note of how many reps you did. Keep note of how you feel right now. I hope you feel great. Great work, Rachel. Great work, team. Make sure to stretch. Make sure to do a post-workout recovery. I have some stretch routines on my YouTube channel, so check those out. And as always, subscribe if you like these workouts. Also, comment below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and I can always give you what you want and what you need. All right, team, I will see you next time. Thanks again, and we'll catch you.